Hello guys, this is Animesh from the CodeCon and I am back with the CSS Advanced course. So in this course, we will be learning about CSS in advanced level. So for this, uh, for this video, there are some prerequisites. So for CSS uh, advanced, first you have to learn HTML. Then if you have learned HTML, then skip HTML. Then uh, after learning HTML, you, do, you have to learn the CSS basics. Both of the video of uh, HTML crash course and CSS basics crash course is available in my channel. And also the video will be coming in this cart. So or also in the description. So you can check them out. So after learning them, you can come here. After learning the basic CSS part, you can come to this advanced course. So in this course, we will be learning many things about advanced uh, in CSS. So let's get started without doing any further ado. So uh, here I am in my desktop. So in my desktop, you can see I have a folder that is CSS advanced crash course. Okay. So I will open this folder with VS code as always because VS code is my favorite. I will right click. I will right click on it and open it with VS code. So after opening it with it vs code you can see there are three files already available html and css let me delete it uh, delete this files and uh, show you the plan okay so this is a plan.txt i have made so this is a css advanced course i have already given you the instruction so introduction so i will mark it green so now uh, what uh, the things i need to do that is so what are the things we will we so what are the things we will be learning in this course that is the box sizing that is CSS gradients box shadow, box shadow text shadow 2d transform 3d transform uh, transition animations object fit CSS variables media queries flesh box a little bit and then you can see that uh, CSS is a very big thing uh, and many other things are also there to learn. So we will show you from where you can learn many more advanced topics. Okay, so uh, let's get started with this. For that, what do we have to do? We have to make a HTML file over here. So because we will run our code into the HTML only, we will be styling the HTML only. Okay, so HTML, then uh, we'll need a CSS style sheet. So do check out my uh, basic CSS crash course, then uh, come to this course. Okay, so let's start. So for that, I will make a, the boilerplate code of this HTML and then I will uh, change its name to CSS uh, advanced. Okay, so it has been named CSS advanced and I will link this CSS file here and I will uh, write link CSS. So I have linked the CSS here, you can see. And then what we want to do, first let's see the plan.txt, that is box sizing. What uh, we will understand about box sizing first, okay. For that, uh, there are some default styles we applied uh, before um, doing the uh, all styling, other styling, okay. For that first, let's uh, give here uh, an h1 and write CSS crash course okay it's a css crash course and let me open it with the live server so i have clicked here and open it with live server okay so you can see here it is what is live server live server is again is an extension i have told in my every video of css and html okay so you have to just li write live server okay so you can install it from the uh, vs code extensions so you can see uh, here uh, the thing appears okay so now what i want to do let me arrange it and arrange it okay it has been arranged so now what i can do you can see the css crash course has been ap appeared here so we will, we will be learning about box sizing so you can see uh, if i enable that uh, pesticide extension uh, i have already said in my other course you can download this extension you can see this is pesticide chrome extension you can download it from your uh, from anywhere uh, like uh, for chrome you can go for chrome web store from mozilla you can also find it okay so i have already installed it and you can see that is a css crash course and you can see uh, it is showing the outline of the box okay so for that you can see that uh, it has some default margin and padding it has some default margin and padding okay 
so what are margin and padding i have already teached it in the basic course okay so margin and padding so for that uh, what we want to do if uh, if i don't want that default margin and padding so we can do here for every element in html there are some default margin and padding to remove that default margin padding we will do a star that is star means to the all elements of the html then we will open our bracket start and bracket close okay and under this braces i will write that padding 0 i will do every elements padding will be 0 px i will make it 0 px and then uh, i will make uh, margin also 0 px okay so you can see after i do that it you can see it has changed and all the spacing has been gone okay and also i want to do one thing that is box sizing and that is border box okay so what is box sizing so mainly the box sizing is uh, you can uh, as i have told that every css element has an height and then width it has an height is a it has an width okay so if i apply a box sizing border box so if i apply a specific height and width to it okay so it will uh, give a, and then I, if i give padding to it so it will give the padding inside this box okay inside this box not outside box within that width only within that width only we will get the padding okay so if i specify let's it is a h1 okay this is a block element h1 so if i give it an h1 so um, here uh, let me specify a h1 uh, select the h1 and then apply a width and height to it let gives a width of 100 pixels and uh, okay so you can see it is an 100 pixels let make it 200 pixels okay. let make it 200 pixels and then apply a height of uh, 400 pixels okay so 400 pixels is very big let give 100 or let give it 50 pixels height okay so you can see 50 pixels is also, and 80 pixels will be enough okay 80 pixels is enough so i have given it a high width of 200 pixels and height of 80 pixels okay and then if i apply padding to it that is 20 pixels you can see it is getting overflowed but the padding is not getting outside okay the padding is only getting inside this is because of the uh, box sizing border box if i do this you can see if i remove that box sizing border box the element got bigger and the it doesn't care about the height i have given the width i have given uh, in the padding according to the padding it uh, got bigger okay so here if i give box sizing you can see by default it is content box so you can see uh, if i do content box it's the same so uh, we don't um, by default it is content box okay so to change that property we use box sizing border box okay box sizing border box so, uh, so what uh, why we apply that so that the height and width we have applied to it is intact okay so within that height and width only it's apply padding so we have seen that 20 pixel padding it is getting overflowed so we can do uh, 10 pixels you can see it's uh, enough or we can also do a 5 pixel padding so you can see this much padding is enough and it is not getting overflowed so this is all about that box sizing thing okay so we have understand the box sizing what is box sizing and why we apply it then we will be learning about uh, the, this all things are very fun stuff okay so previous basics things are very boring but these are these are main very fun stuff so let's learn it you will enjoy it so let's learn the css gradients okay so what are css gradients so if i do if i remove all this let's remove the h1 only okay okay uh, or uh, keep it here it doesn't matter if i apply a body as i have said the white area is the body so if i apply her body and then in this body i apply a color okay background background color let's say background color is aqua okay so you can see the uh, whole body color got changed so if i want to apply a gradient color okay so what will i do what can i do okay so for that you have to do have to add this and do background image okay in background image you have to apply linear gradient okay 
in you can see linear gradient and within this braces you have to apply three properties that is uh, that is first is direction okay then second one is uh, then two colors or uh, single color gradients are not uh, gradients okay so to, you have to apply two colors so color and uh, color uh, two okay so color one and color two let me just color one and color two so this two color and the direction what is the direction so let me comment this out as a reference and then uh, go to background image and then given linear gradient okay so linear gradient in linear gradient i want a direction okay so for that direction if i do and direction of if you simply apply red and yellow so what will happen if you don't apply the direction okay so you can see you can see that is uh, gradients are applying but it is also repeating okay so if you want to stop its repeat it uh, so what you can do uh, you can see simply the background repeat no repeat okay you can do you can see within this body element only because the body element is not we have doesn't specified and height and width if we do an um, height of the body element if i do an height of 100 vh okay so it will uh, contain the whole page okay if i do its full screen also you can see the same thing okay so uh, i have uh, make the height uh, according, um, by default the uh, body height is the height of that element the element we have added the element height uh, how much element if we add two uh, if we make uh, comment this out this height you can see uh, the element height it is uh, the body is taking the element height only okay so if i apply two elements if i copy this element down you can see it is taking space of two elements okay so by default it uh, depends on the element height so uh, we want to see the full screen so we have to do the 100 vh that is vh is view height okay so we want to do it full screen so the height equals to 100 vh okay so now you can see uh, i have said that we have to apply three properties that is direction color one and color two but here we have only applied uh, red and yellow so by default the direction is top to bottom okay so by default the uh, direction is top to bottom we can also apply here top we have to just to do two b o t t o m b o t t o m okay so you can see i have done something wrong two button or not two button two then after give a space you can do button so why not uh, top to bottom why we didn't write top to bottom okay so you can see if i write top to bottom it's uh, not showing okay so if i write two bottom it is showing the first direction it takes automatically so we have to just specify the last direction if i if i do here uh, to right okay uh, to r i g h t okay to right you can see left to right it is applying left to right the gradient is applying left to right if i want to do uh, right to left so we will do here right to left but we don't write the right okay so to left so you can see it is right to left okay so first this color will apply then this color will be applied so this is uh, right to left so you can see that if i uh, change the colors like uh, if i do it blue okay so you can see this uh, making a gradient uh, very bad gradient or also if i do a color here like green okay so you can see this uh, two gradients are mixing also if i if you use hash hexadecimal values that is f it is a default of white okay you can see and green and white also you can as i have said you can hover here and using vs code you can just customize your own and make your own color customizing okay so also for the green also you can customize and make your own color like this one also you can see a very nice gradient color has been applied so this is the direction and this is the uh, color you can apply okay also you can apply more colors like if you apply a yellow okay you can see three colors have been applied left to right also let's see uh, we can apply more or not okay you can see you can apply as many colors as you want 
ओके सो नॉट लिमिटेड टू टू कलर ओके एज मेनी कलर एज यू वॉन्ट जो यू कैन सी देयर इज इट ग्रीन येलो ब्लू रेड एंड इफ आई डू राइट टू लेफ्ट ओके इट इज राइट टू लेफ्ट इफ आई डू लेफ्ट टू राइट सो आई टू राइट राइट ओके हेयर the left is taken automatically you can see red blue yellow green so it uh, reversed the order okay so also you can do top bottom and bottom to top so you have to write top here bottom to top you can see this color is also appear so you can make your own uh, combination of colors and apply uh, it to here okay also not uh, to top you can also give a angle over here if you do 180 degree angle okay so not only 180 degree also you have to for degree you have to write deg deg okay also you can do like 60 degree okay so something uh, colored you can see angle is appearing okay so also you can do 80 okay so this is a quite fun thing to do uh, <laughs> that why i am stressing it so much okay so you can see this is very much fun so you can also apply degree here and also what you can apply that is Mm, that is left to right but top to left but only the next element not the first element okay so if i applied here top to uh top to bottom so for that top to bottom only i have to apply to b o t t o m okay so but uh, you can see you can see first it is applied then it is applied okay but you can see if i apply 120 degree first background image then i am applying this one so the next one will be will uh, be applied finally okay so this one will be overrided okay so because it is um, running the program up to down approach so you can see first uh, this one is uh, applying but after that we are applying this so this one is applying this was get, getting ignored so i will comment this two out okay let it be running it is looking nice okay so now let's see what we want to learn css gradient had been completed okay so now uh, we can make it green so now let's talk about a box and text shadow okay this is also a very interesting thing let's uh, remove all this color because using this colors you cannot see the box uh, okay so let's take a div okay so let's remove it let's take a div okay so let's take a div you can see everything is vanished and uh, so we can select the div on all we can give it a class of container okay container so also we can write something title box shadow okay and box sizing box shadow and text shadow okay text not text it is text shadow okay so box shadow and text shadow you can see so here we have applied the height to that h1 so we will remove that height you can see i have removed it and also the padding thing also okay so you can see it is sticked here but the div cannot be seen because the div is by default has no height and width so we have to provide it a height and width to select that class container we will do dot container okay so you can see dot container i have done so dot container inside the dot container i will provide it a height and width so let uh, the width will be um, 100 pixels and because this is a box so height and width will be same and height will be 100 pixels okay so i have uh, to make a box the uh, height and width should be same you have learned okay so i have applied the height and width and you can see still it's not shown so we have to give it a background color but because by, by default it is white so if i give it a background color of red okay or brown okay so you can see but you cannot see it still container copy so let me apply it i can see uh, i have misspelled the um, uh, spelling of container okay so that why it was not showing but this is now showing so let me apply a padding it is very much stick to the uh, 
body so let me apply a padding of 10 pixels uh, in the body so it will get apart 10 pixels from the body also we this if, because this is a full container also we can apply the margin okay so you can see it is getting 10 pixels uh, space from every side okay so uh, if you want to do only left right okay so we use 0 px for top bottom and from left right 10 px you can see from top bottom we are receiving no padding so what we want to do uh, what we want to do we want to show the first the shadow okay the box shadow so for box shadow what we can do if we have to do box shadow okay box shadow 2 px first let's uh, for convenience write 3 2 px and then apply a color that is blue okay you can also write 1 px you can see a shadow has been appeared if i zoom it you can see it better okay you can see a shadow has been appeared so if want to make the shadow so what are these three um, things so what does this three means okay so first you if i am um, increase this more you can see this is spreading so to spread the color more to increase this blurness you have to increase the value third value okay so you can see if i increase this third value the uh, blurness is increasing if i increase this value that make it 10 pixels you can see it is aligning down okay so to um, apply the uh, shadow down you have to increase this but you, you can say if i apply want to apply the shadow up once so make it minus 10 okay if you make it minus 10 you can see it got the shadow in the upper part the, the top and uh, by default if you give a positive value you can see by default it is down so if i change the now if i change the let's make it two again and if 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 i change this so you can guess already and it will change the left right value so by default it's changed the right value so make it the to make the left value um, the to make the left side to put the shadow to the left side what you want to do that is minus 10 okay so that is minus 10 you can see minus 10 it is going to the left side if i do only 10 is showing to the right side okay so now this type you can apply um, um modified value okay so if i want i had two and one here five okay and i want to spread it like five okay so you can see and i also want here three okay and also and one here two only one okay so you can see a nice color is applying over here okay you can see nice shadow is applying over here so this is all about the box shadow and if you want to apply the text shadow uh, what you can do so okay for that first let me comment this out to show you the things more clearly okay and make it only text shadow okay not anything box shadow is completed so make it text shadow and we will now apply shadow to it It'll make it one line okay so we have zoomed this out and we are applying h1 a text shadow so for that um, css is very easy so you don't have to remember things so just write text shadow for that we are using box shadow and here you, we, we are using text shadow okay text shadow inside this text shadow we have to do the same to px to px to px and then we'll apply the random color the, the shadow we want so mainly the gray color is there so you can see uh, you can apply a gray color shadow so the thing are the same for this also so if i do five here you can see it is getting down okay also if if i do 10 it will be understand more you can see it is down if i have to move that to the top you will do minus 10 you can see it is it move to the top okay if i do if i change this to um 10 okay so you can see it's uh, move to the right if i want to move it to the left so i will do minus 10 so you can see it's move to the right if i give padding to margin to it so it get margin top okay margin from every side okay margin from every side 20 pixels okay. so you can now uh, clearly see it let's give it 10 pixels so you can see the text 
you can see the text shadow is you can see the text shadow behind it okay so now you can uh, customize it in your own way okay so now what we want to see we have seen the text shadow and the box shadow also so this is also been completed okay so now another um, more fun step is waiting for you so for that what we will do we will comment this text out and then uncomment that box out again okay so i will need this box again so you can see this box has been appeared so in this box i will go i will remove the margin from the body that i have applied you can see it stick to the body and now i will apply the mar padding to margin to that box okay so if i applied margin so it will do 10 px okay you can see it is coming here so let's make it okay so it is coming here now what i want to do if i want to uh, make it center also so what you, you can do margin you can do that margin uh, top bottom 0 px and left right auto you can do that you can see it's came to the bottom uh, center center of the skin this is a margin this is the way of centering an I, a div to center you can see the div become center how become it become center we are applying uh, in that basic course i have uh, covered the margin so uh, here i am applying two uh, shorthand properties so for top bottom margin we are applying 10 pixels and for left right we are applying auto okay so if i apply auto you can see this is become centered from this type margin is uh, automatically given and this uh, from this side automatically margin is given and from top and from bottom we are getting 10 pixels if you start that extension you can see from top and from bottom it is not showing now but it can show okay so now uh, what we want to do we want to uh, put it here and make it more down okay then let make it 20 pixels okay. so now we can apply animations through what what we are what we are learning what we are learning 2d transformation okay so for 2d transformation we'll apply things to it okay so let's uh, hide that border okay it's looking odd okay so we have removed the border and now what we want to apply that is 2d transformation so for 2d transformation you can apply just transform okay so transform there are many things about transform i will be showing you some things like uh, transform translate if i show you the transform translate okay so if i do translate you can see transform translate under this you have to uh, if you have a, a bracket okay so uh, it uh, gets two values for now that is 10 50 pixels and if i apply 100 pixels so what will happen now you can see so what are these two things you can see after applying uh, 50 pixels and 100 pixels it got here so what are the things this is first is for x axis and second is for y axis from x axis it pushed 100 pixels and from y axis it pushed him what 50 pixels so if i do the value uh, if i less the value like 20 okay so you can see if i now uh, also if i uh, the margin you can see if i don't apply all this you can see it is by default here but if i do the transform after this you can see it gets 10 pixel spacing that is it pushes uh, the box 10 pixels from the x axis and uh, it pushes 20 pixels from the y axis you can see from the y axis is 20 pixels and from the x axis is 10 pixels okay so let me push it that 20 more pixels from the x-axis okay so that is uh, about uh, translate okay so more what we can do with transform that is so now that's uh, all about transform translate now let's talk about transform more transform properties that is transform rotate okay rotate if we apply rotate here and we want to rotate it to 20 degree you can see it's got rotated okay so we can do some fun with it okay so let's comment it out first 
and let's do a fun okay. so we have learned about hover in that basic course so if we do container then apply hover over it so if we hover over it so what we will get so if we hover over it the transform will be changed to uh, okay transform will be changed to rotate okay so rotate and it will rotate to let's say 360 degree okay 360 degree so it will rotate full okay so let's uh, remove this and also let's uh, do that auto margin between and and then uh, we don't need to move it by default so okay we have applied the margin and now it is transform rotate so if we uh, it when it will happen when we hover the container so this is the container if we hover over it you can see it will apply it. okay no not uh, 20 degree let's apply it to 20 dig okay so you can see 20 dig okay 360 degree it's uh, remain constant so if we apply 20 degree you can see when we over over it it is doing something like this so if we apply 180 degree what will happen you can see 180 degree still not happening 120 degree okay. you can see it is moving to 120 degree so these are the things we can do uh, if we want to uh, have an image and we have to rot we want to rotate it so simply we can apply transform uh, rotate and give a 20 deg or degree whatever you want the thing to you can see it is rotated like that only okay so this is all about the let's remove the hover thing okay this is all of the transform uh, many more things are there uh, you can explore okay so let me tell some more things like transform scale scale okay if i apply scale here you can uh, make the thing big okay so if i applied 1.2 here you can see it's become 1.2 times bigger okay let me comment the uh, rotate thing out so 1.2 times bigger so if i do it two well it is two times bigger now okay so if i make it 100 percent okay you can see it is two times if i do it five times you can see it is five times bigger so it scales it so where it is useful okay so if i want to do and have hover over then again dot container dot container dot hover okay if we hover over it and apply a transform scale okay and then 1.2 uh, we have to comment it out and if we hover you can see if we hover over it its size is changing so this uh, type using this we do animations okay so this is the thing so uh, i think this much is enough uh, for now we can explore more uh, i will uh, as i said that i will give you the resources from where you can explore more so i am telling you the basics okay uh, because everything cannot be covered in the video you have to learn something on your own also so now we will be talking about 3d transform so how we can transform uh, transform it into 3d okay so to transform it into 3d what we want to do that uh, we have some transform properties that is uh, let's uh, uh, apply it under hover okay so rotate transform rotate uh, rotate x and we have to give an angle in rotate x we have to give an angle in x axis it will rotate okay so 120 degree okay if i hover over here you can see it is rotating in x axis but it's not smooth so for smooth we have to do transitions okay so if i do transitions here so transitions are the next topic only so if i do transition or the parent element transition okay i will talk about transition uh, all we have to give all transition to um ease okay easy in okay so let's now do this you can see you can see now see the animation before beforehand you cannot see the animation but it is getting into 120 degree it is flipping it into 120 degree okay 
so if you do 20 degree rotate x in x axis it will rotate 20 degree it is rotating 20 degree okay so also you can rotate it to y axis okay so you can if you rotate it into y axis you can see okay it is rotating into y axis you can see so accord uh, is in we have applied is in that's why if i reload it uh, if i change it to is okay so you can see after reloading it because it is a live server so it is getting auto reload so it is easing it out okay so you can see in y axis it is moving you can if you um, if i do it to like 30 degree okay so you will see that you can see it is doing in the y axis okay so like this way you can make any amazing animations using more complex css rules and accurate degrees okay you can do that also you can apply x you can see it is moving in x axis okay also there is a z also there are three axes x y z okay if i do this z axis you can see in z axis it is rotating uh, so if i want to do okay if i do rotate z okay 360 degree you can see if i, I have done rotate z 360 degree you can see it is rotating full 360 degree but how you can see it beforehand you cannot see it because of the transition so we have completed the transform transform what that that much only okay so we have completed the 2d transform and 3d transform and now we are moving and already moved to transitions okay so uh, in the parent element this is the container is the parent element we have to apply the transition transition what is what is the first element uh, first parameter that is one second also you can apply a 0 0.5 second so it will be more faster okay you can see it is more faster if you do here two seconds so it will uh, uh, so you can if it's reloaded now if you do it the animation is more smoother because it is taking more time so if i do here five seconds these things are very much fun to learn and fun to make when you will make css and html projects okay so you can see it is moving so slowly so because of this timing it is taking a full five seconds to rotate the full thing so for that we have used transform z rotate z in the we are rotating into the z axis if we rotate in the y axis you can see uh, let it be appeared <laughs> so it's taking time okay so you can see you can see the y-axis transforming okay it is rotating around the y-axis okay so you apply x here um uh, now it's also taking five seconds to appear okay so now if we take you can see it is rotating in x-axis and also what you can do that uh, also one thing about scale i have been tell you okay so one that is scale one and if i do two two comma three if i do here two comma three you can see it is if i hover over here it is the height is becoming two times the width the width is becoming two times and the height is becoming three times okay you can see if i hover over here let me make it hundred percent okay uh, okay it is hundred percent now you can see the height will be uh, three times and the uh, width will be two times you can see the width is not uh, uh, three times the height is three times okay so you can see the, if i make the width five times and the width uh, height three times okay so you can see now like this it is appearing okay so this uh, like this you can apply transition and the transform properties and make cool animations in your project okay and also there are many uh, more topics like animations okay so now let's move to animations transition is all about that only so let me apply a simple animation first so let's discuss about animation then let me apply a first uh, animation so for that we have to apply an animation name okay so for to, uh, this div we will apply an animation name okay so let's uh, give it an example okay so ex uh, animation name that is example and now we will apply that animation let me comment out the hover 
and let me comment the hover out so why it is not commenting out uh, okay now it will be commented out i think I'm, okay it is get uh, commented out let let's apply the animation okay so for that uh, we have to use keyframes there is a keyframe okay so after applying keyframes we have to give the animation name we have applied to the container that is example let's make it, let me make it big okay so that is example so we are applying animation to this example here, example container so we have applied the animation name to example and now what we want to do that is from animation will start from and uh, from starting the background will be background color will be red will make the background color red starting from and then uh, to from this to that okay from this to that you have listened so like that only from red we want to change the background color to what like yellow let's say okay okay so from red the color should be yellow so now we have what we have to uh, apply in the container animation time okay we have to give a time now uh, it's not working let's uh, move move the transition it is animation time okay animation time animation not time animation duration okay it's animation duration let's do it two seconds okay so if we if you see that in two seconds it is changing so let's make it five seconds so you can see the animation you can see from start starts from red color from it starts from red color and goes to yellow color okay so you can see and if i do it to 10 seconds it will slowly grow from red color then you can see it is emerging and going to the yellow color so this is an animation duration animation name okay so this is the thing also you can apply the, the color you have applied here it is showing here also not only that from to what we can do else here so we have seen from and to uh, in real life there's from this to that okay so from uh, red it is going to yellow so th but it is only two colors so if we want to apply more animations okay so you, you can see keyframes in keyframes and then example if you do example okay and if i comment this out and i apply you can also apply 0 to 100 percent with this then this limit you can apply animations okay so in 0 percent what do we want okay in 0 percent uh, um, i what we want i want a background color of red okay and in uh, 10 percent uh, when it gone from 0 percent to 10 percent what i want i want an animation of uh, like uh, what type of animation let's make it uh, rotate okay let's make it rotate we have learned about rotate rotate to x axis okay uh, now not like that we have to uh, transform rotate transform it is a transform property so we have to uh, transform rotate in uh, z axis okay in z axis uh, in 360 degree okay so in 10% uh, it will do that and in uh, you can see uh, animation is already going on okay so in 20% what it will do it will change the background color to red okay red not uh, already let, let's change it to blue and in 30% uh, let's change it to so we will be making a very good animation okay so let's make it to scale uh, okay to trans uh, have to apply transition transform scale okay so to scale two times we have to apply two times we want to scale it and then in 100 uh, 50 percent we want to do something like this uh, transform you can also do not like that you have to do every percent zero to 100 you can also jump over to 100 percent right here no problem over there okay let's finish this out let's do a let's again finish with a rotate of 60 uh, dig okay dag okay so, and let's apply it to x-axis so now uh, if i refresh it okay so you can see the animation 
cool nice animation of 10 seconds and at last it will also rotate I think but it's not rotated okay so let me apply a more 20 percent 20 seconds you can see it's rotated once it transforms the color the color changes to blue and it's then scales to uh, twice and then it should to 60 degree it's rotated to 60 degree okay why it's not rotated to 60 degree because in in place of deck we have applied gig so we have to apply the deck here so it's first rotated uh, then it's changed it color then it scales and then you can see it will rotate at the end to 60 degree it should rotate okay it is getting smaller 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 oh it is rotating into x axis you can see it's rotated into x axis to 60 degree okay so if we apply z here and also we can see that animation you can see at 20 seconds animation it's looking very nice the video may be very long i have to edit it a bit, little bit okay so you can see it's after that it's get got to its previous position okay so that's all about keyframes okay so now what we want to talk about that is uh, um, this all about animation so we have completed animations over here and then uh, we have to uh, see object fit okay so if i uh, let's make this uh, up a little big okay this height width is 100 px of this container let's make it 200 px and 300 not 200 only okay so this is like this so let's take a picture for object fit we have to take a picture image okay so for that we have to go unsplash okay in unsplash let's make it full screen so you can see you can see many pictures are there let's take a uh, square type picture okay uh, no not square let's take this picture how to take this picture open image in new in tab and then copy the url and then just close it and make it align okay let's uh, let's uh, put that image inside this div tag okay using img tag img tag i will put that link into the source I put that link into the source you can see inside this picture it is <laughs> gone overflowed okay if I show you in the full screen it's gone overflow you cannot see that box only okay so for object fit so now you can see the uh, image is uh, let me make it small that is 100% make it 100% okay and uh, remove the margin also and just keep the margin margin 10 pixels okay so make it something like this and now what we want to do that is make it object fit to fit that div okay so to fit that div we have to select that div that is container dot con dot container and then we have to uh, select the image inside that container that is the this is the image so we have to give it a width okay so that is the image width okay there will be 10 uh, 100 pixels okay you can see it is 100 pixels 100 pixels width and you have to give 100 pixel height uh, like uh, you can uh, height okay height h i h t okay so if you see that if i give 100 pixel height and um, width it is already getting small inside this div if i make it larger okay so uh, so you can see the height and width of the container is uh, 200 pixels if i make it 200 200 pixels it is getting object is getting fitted okay so if i do object fit here object fit cover so you can see the image is getting covered throughout okay and if we give it uh, like uh, 100 pixel width and 200 uh, 100 pixel also you can see inside this image it is getting covered okay and if we took uh, let's do it again 200 pixels and 200 pixels okay it is taking the full width of that um div only and if i uh, do and contain okay so you can see it is containing 
the because the image we have selected is a rectangular image and this is a square so you can see it is containing in the square if we do object fit so this is all about the object fit so we have also learned about the object fit so now let's talk about some uh, css variables okay so css variables okay this is also a very interesting and advanced topic so in this css variable if you do what you do if you apply a so you are applying and sometimes you are applying the same 200 pixels here also 200 pixels here also so if you don't want to do this also okay and uh, change the values globally okay so what you can do okay so you can uh, do that you can make some variables in css so variables is like it contains the value you are providing like this it is a key value pair uh, like that only we are um, providing a key value of pair globally so we can access it okay so like blue let's apply uh, we are applying size okay so size 200 pixels so we are applying size here and like size like this we are applying a size and then in this size we are applying like uh, what type of pixel we are applying 200 pixels okay if i apply 200 pixels okay so now if i uh, change all this okay changing all of this uh, one by one is time waste so let's uh, use this feature just pre press the alt and select all the line you can edit them at once so you have to use where okay in this where after this where you can use this bracket start bracket close inside this we have to give that variable name so we have uh, the give the variable name the size you can see everything is got into 200 pixel only so let's um, Mm, remove the content thing content thing object fit okay so it is now thing okay if uh, i have applied the width of the container to size uh, height of the container to size height of the image to size and height of the ima uh, image to size and height of the container also to size okay so everything is size so if i change it okay in the root okay and let's make it 100 pixels okay so you can see everything change at once okay so we don't have to change everything manually line by line you can changing it you can see as much we will change it will getting bigger or smaller according to our if we do 10 pixels it is get so much smaller okay so if we do 500 pixels it is getting so big if we do 100 pixels it is getting small okay so these are uh, the thing this is not only with this you can also uh, apply this with color so if you have a color scheme of your website okay so if you want to apply a specific color that is uh, let it be primary okay so let's give it name of primary and let's give it here uh, let's select some color okay so also there is a website i am telling you that is if you go uh, to color hunt colorhunt.co uh, you can see many beautiful colors over here you can simply you can see there is a hex code is coming you can simply copy the hex code okay so let me copy this hex code and get back to my editor and paste the hex, hex, code, hex code here okay so hash is not included so i will give that hash okay so now you can see that color has been applied as primary so we can apply that to everywhere so if what happened to this okay let's make it okay why it's happened because we have to also keep semicolons here okay so or else it will got break okay so we have removed the semicolon so it is now uh, 100 pixels let me make it 200 pixels so make it some big okay so if i uh, uh, change the background color of the body okay so if i change the background color of the body let is and that background color okay then uh, if i give here again like that only where then inside that where i give the variable that is primary okay if you give that primary you can see the color got changed so you can only uh, simply you don't have to remember the code everywhere you can just simply apply this variable and use that everywhere okay so now our css variables has also been cleared so now let's uh, move to media queries so what are media queries so for that we have to full screen all the things because we will be 
working with this screens only so let me remove this uh, div okay and make a paragraph let's make a p tag and give some lorem uh, 100 to it okay so some lorem 100 appears here okay so you can see it okay so you can see the text very clearly that is black and the background is the red okay so what i want to do if i want that uh, uh, while i will make this minimize okay the color will change uh, so if you have seen that if i use a big picture over the chrome or the for the desktop we are making a website for desktop so the picture will be big but uh, the website will also be used in like uh, this like phone okay so you can also go over this uh, web dev tools okay so right click on this and go to inspect you can see all the dev tools and also let me talk about some dev tools you can see if you click here in this select element button and you can select okay so if you do responsive you can make the website responsive you can see uh, you can select the image and it will it is showing its properties that is color what the font is using okay everything it is showing okay so now also you can see here the html codes is showing okay and also uh, if i click here okay in the, using this if i click here you can see this is selecting that uh, element this is selecting that element uh, and the code is showing and also the style the style which we have applied to it is also showing down here that styles also the padding margin and bottom you can see and apply here and you can see here okay so you can if i apply uh, that so this uh, this is the thing you can see there is a css okay and also you can see there is a box sizing what are the box sizing what are the pixels what are the height is all is showing here okay so you can explore this step tools there is also console we will be exploring so while we will be learning javascript so that's about the dev tools but we want that responsiveness okay so to apply that responsiveness what we want to do so apply uh, media queries okay so we want to apply different uh, styles in mo mobile view or in tablet view okay so for that what we want to do for that let's do something let's media queries okay so for that what we have to do we have to do media screen screen with screen or what another thing you have to do that is with screen media screen and uh, min let's apply min width min width 450 fix 480 pixels okay min width is 480 pixels so that the body background let's change the body background background color will be yellow okay so when the minimum width the minimum with the whole screen so this is the whole screen you can see the minimum if the minimum width is 480 pixels then will uh, then only it will apply the min width okay so because uh, it is very bigger skin screen if you see it is a very bigger skin the width is more than 480 pixels so the minimum is obviously for more than 4 480 okay so if i app, uh, you can see the yellow color is app, uh, changing here so if i want that the if i want that if uh, maximum width okay if the maximum width is 480 pixel okay so you can see the this is not the maximum width okay 480 pixels is more smaller okay so let me inspect it and if i make it smaller you can see uh, you can see this is the uh, width this is the height okay so if i make it bigger okay the max uh, max width is greater if the max width is getting to four you can see for what we have applied 480 so it is getting 460 450 it is getting yellow so you have seen that so like that only you can apply uh, 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 different styles also uh, what where we have to apply just inside this you have applied here for body you can also apply it here for that h1 if you do that h1 also want to make that in yellow so uh, we can apply blue okay so you can see blue back color is blue okay the color is b l u e blue okay. so if you can see nothing changes here but if we apply that below that 
you can see the color will be changed okay but the h1 color that doesn't change oh okay so this is not an h1 this one is a p so this one is not an h1 this one is a p okay so in this p you can see that color is changing if i make it maximum this the color is minimum and it will getting that point if we getting that point and then the and if we are getting to that point the thing is showing so now it is normal so this is all about media queries okay live server so i have fired up the live server okay so this all this has been set it up so i will remove that background color okay comment it out also remove this one so let's know about flexbox so this is a uh, you can see uh, it, it's uh, showing a row and this is showing a column so this is a div there is another div there is four divs and, and there is five divs so to align the divs in uh, divs or elements in uh, in 2d formation so for that we use flexbox okay so you have seen many uh, shopping websites their items are listed in a um, um, row and column manner okay so we don't use that table in html so for that you use flexbox okay so let's uh, see some example and know about flexbox in my editor so here what i will do i will remove all of this and I will make a um, I will make a div okay so not div I will make a div okay so you can see one div so let me make five divs okay and let uh, come here and uh, after this media query let's select a div and give him some property like width width 10 pixels uh, with 50 pixels height height 50 pixels uh, 50 pixels and then we have to apply a background color background color is red so uh, we have applied a high width of 50 pixel height of 50 pixel and background color you can see every this is the five divs so you can see there is no spacing between the divs so give us spacing we will apply margin 10 pixels okay so you can see after applying margin 10 pixels it gives spacing to the circle uh, spacing to the squares okay so uh, now what i can do i can apply flex to this this but i cannot apply flex here because i cannot apply uh, so to apply flex to all of this what i have to do i have to take another div okay uh, in this div what i want to do uh, give a class let's class um, is flex okay class name let's flex okay uh, arbitrary flex name i have given and then i will copy these divs okay i will copy these divs okay so you can see this div uh, uh, as i have applied and property to the div this is div is also getting uh, a property so let's apply some class to this things okay so let me do a class okay let's give a class of div div one uh, divs okay if i give a class of divs then i will change it to dot divs dot because this is a, i have made this all this a class and you can see the first the main div the container div this is the container div okay the so the flex will be applied to this main container div that the parent div and the properties flex properties will be applied to the child of that parent okay so i will apply flex to this uh, this flex class okay so let me select this flex class dot flex okay and then uh, you can name it anything class naming is um, can be anything 
so what now i want to do so now i will apply the flex property to this flex class and uh, the you know, uh, and the property will be applied to the child divs of this parent flex class okay so now uh, uh, first uh, first property is display flex okay so you, you have seen that uh, display block display inline and if we do display flex then we can apply the flex property so you can see by default there are some flex properties like flex direction will be by default row so you can see all the elements got into a row so if i do flex direction and i apply here column okay you can see all that they got into a column also to identify all of this let's uh, give them some number one two three um, four and five okay so you can and identify them so now if i do one thing uh, let's make it um, row okay so uh, if you want to do that uh, 1 2 3 4 5 you if you want to reverse the row okay so simply you can do row reverse and you can see 5 5 4 3 2 1 also you can do the same with if you do column okay so you can see it will be 1 2 3 4 5 if you want to reverse the column you can simply apply column reverse okay so you can see that 5 4 3 2 1 it is getting reversed okay so let's keep it row only okay so now uh, another properties are there uh, also i will enable that uh, extension called pesticides you can see so if i remove the margin you can see all of them got uh, got side by side no spacing is there between them so we can do one thing or we can uh, stretch the items and make them fit into the uh, block element that is the parent flex element we can make these tips um, fix here okay so for that what i want to do for that uh, if i apply this is the you can see uh, here if you see this is the main div and under this div this uh, dips ap uh, appears okay so this is the small boxes red boxes okay so if i want to give spacing between them i can simply do justify content and if i do center if i want to uh, bring them center i can simply do center justify content center you can see all the content got center not only from here if you do it full screen they also got center so this is also a trick to get sent got get it get dips to center okay so the mainly to uh, center a deep flex box or that margin auto is used okay um, so now what i want to do i want to be spacing so for that justify content space between you can see space around space between space evenly if you do between you can see all the elements got separated and they got some space in between them between the between the divs okay so uh, if i do around if i do space around you can see the difference that it is getting space from both the sides okay and for space between it is only getting space in between okay so this is all about uh, thing also you can do space evenly so it will space it equally okay uh, it will get equal spaces at every sides so this way you can uh, you don't have to apply space or uh, if we now add uh, more uh, if i go here and copy this down once again okay okay so you can see all of them got copied but uh, the properties are still intact okay they not didn't, don't get break so in uh, shopping website you can see list has been added item has been added there or a gallery application in your phone or in your uh, in, in some website okay google photos or something you can see all the pictures are aligned side by side so they are all they are only done by this table if you go to unsplash okay unsplash let's give me an example here yeah. If you go to unsplash you can see the pictures are here aligned okay so to align these pictures they are uh, uh, using flex box okay also there is a css grid with which you can also do this okay so uh, to align the 
elements like this so if you can see that if i take it here you can see it is getting uh, all, uh, it is in full screen it is getting space but in uh, small screen it is not getting space so what i want to do here so uh, i want to do so uh, all this uh, it is fitting all the elements that all the divs into uh, this congested area so i want to do flex wrap okay uh, flex wrap no wrap flex wrap wrap i want to do flex wrap wrap okay if i do wrap you can see uh, the space uh, it have as much spa space it can it's utilized and then it's uh, bring the rest of the element you can see one two three four five then one two it's containing it's make adjusting them here and the rest of them it cannot adjust so it's getting it getting them to the next line so let's give an margin of little bit five pixels okay so you can now understand one two three four five then one is uh, adjusting here then but this one cannot be adjust so it's getting to a next line so like that if you copy this in numerous times you can see this all are getting uh, in position okay so you have to apply the style once and then you can add in numerous number of elements and they will get arranged in a way so what we are doing doing display flex and we are applying the direction that is row okay and then we are justifying the contents to uh, put a space bit evenly okay and then we are wrapping them so uh, while wrapping if there is no space it is getting to the next line if i show you the full screen you can see it is uh, occupying this full space as much as it uh, at, as it can okay so then it is uh, if it doesn't content in that row it is getting to the next line if we cancel that wrap here and you can see it is it will congest everything into one line okay so we don't want that okay so for that we can do this okay so that's uh, it about and also there are some features in flex that uh, if it is uh, if the div okay what is the parent div main parent div is flex okay if i give a uh, flex uh, if i give this flex a width of 100 vh okay so 100 vh which uh, not width okay 100 vh height okay let's give a height of 100 vh height of 100 vh so you can see all of them uh, why it's happening okay because if i stand on this extension you can see the height is 100 width so it is spacing evenly okay so it is also spacing here also giving space here okay so if i want to uh, take all of this to center i can do one thing that um, align items and do center okay so you can see it is getting into the center okay so and now if i change it to 50 vh you can see it is adjusting them as well um, so i also can do 20 okay and if i uh, uh, move this flex wrap you can see uh, the spacing uh, in up and down is the same because uh, we are getting it to the center so vertically it is aligning so the align items uh, um, align the dips vertically okay so now we don't need that and we will give i will remove the height okay so now i can see this so this is i think the there are many more concept in flex so i will make a full video on flex and also there is a css grid so this is all for this video and uh, uh, so let's check my plan list so it is completed so one thing is still left that is how to become a pro so how to learn further there are many topics uh, we, which i ha don't have covered uh, may, uh, you can see any course everything is not covered in any course okay so you have to learn by your own so i can share you some resources where from where you can learn
the rest of the things and explore more okay so for that you can first go to w3schools.com okay if you go here you can see learn html so if you go and you can see there are many topics okay advanced topics are there and also in details what are the thing and you can if if you want uh, you can try them yourself and you can see here is the code and you can run it in the browser only okay and also not only uh, html you can also learn about css okay you can see that important i have done tell not tell told you about important okay uh, what are more pseudo classes i have only talked to you about hover okay there are many more okay so you can explore this uh, rest of the things from here and i will make a another video of css and flexbox also you can see CSS grid also is there. Okay. Flexbox is also there. If you can see. Okay. So you can explore the more HTML and about HTML and CSS from this or else uh, projects will be coming like we'll be making uh, website, real life website design using HTML and CSS. So from there also you can learn. Okay. So that was pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the, my channel, uh, The Code Con. And also you can follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram account uh, where I post daily quizzes about this web development uh, topics. Uh, I used to share um, web development uh, posts about related technologies. So you can check it out and be a part of our family. So until next time, uh, this is Anime signing off. See you in the next video.